So I have a question for you. Are you committed or are you interested? Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to Fearless Fridays. Today is Friday, May 6th. This is episode 117 of Fearless Fridays. As always, I welcome you to the show, whether it's your first time watching or you're a return watcher. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. So this week, I want to talk to you or ask you this question. Are you committed or are you interested? And you might say, well, okay, what's the difference? Where, what's, what's, what's the hook? What's the difference? <laughs> and I'll tell you what the difference is. When you are committed to something, that means you are devoted to it. You are going to stick with that thing. You're going to keep coming back to that thing until you see in front of you what you see in your mind's eye. Commitment is not something that you toss out the window. That is something that you have decided no matter what comes, no matter how long it takes, no matter what the process looks like, this thing is going to get done. I'm going to see this thing through to the end, no matter what the end looks like. That's commitment. Interest is when, you know, you like something, you feel good when you do it, you get a little buzzy when you do it, maybe it feels kind of sexy to you, it feels kind of exciting to you. You know, you 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 can learn a little bit about it here or there and you can know, you can kind of try to dip your toe in a little bit here and there, but you, it's just an interest. You're not fully committed to it. You're not devoted to it. You're not willing to see it through to the end. When the emotion of that thing passes, when the high of that thing passes, you're going with it. You're going with that emotion. You're going with that high because you were merely interested in it. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with just being interested in something. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But it's important to be able to decide what things in your life you are committed to and what things in your life you are merely interested in. Because that's going to determine how you spend your time, how you spend your energy, how you spend your resources on that thing. That's going to determine how you push that thing forward or how you lean into that thing, whether you're interested in it or committed to it. And a lot of times I think we waste time or we spend time doing things or pursuing things that we have a mere interest in but we haven't decided that we're committed to that thing. We don't know if we're committed to that thing. We don't even know if we want to be committed to that thing, but we spend so much time and so much energy going after it. And then when the emotion passes, when the buzzy feeling fades, when the excitement fades, um, when the thought fades or when it seems like something else is trendy, then we let it fall by the wayside because we were merely interested in it. And that can be a huge, huge time waster. That can be a huge time waster. So I think it's important to look at your life and know what things am I committed to? That's That almost gets into what do you value, right? What am I committed to? What do I value? And what am I merely interested in? And look at how you're spending your time. Look at how you're spending your energy. Look at how you're spending your resources. And if you're giving a lot of time and energy and resources to something that you're just interested in, but not giving the same or more time, energy, and resources to the thing that you're committed to, there might need to be a shift in priorities. And you might need to look at your life and actually decide, wait, what am I committed to? Because you might not even know. You might not even know what you're committed to. And when we don't know what we're committed to, we spend so much time wandering. We got like our, we're like a bobblehead. We got... <laughs> like a bobblehead we're like a spinning like a like a our neck is on a swivel or our head is on a swivel because we're like oh I'm interested in that thing 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 but what are you committed to what are you committed to not just what are you interested in what looks fun what seems exciting what looks like a quick win what seems trendy right now but what have you decided you're committed to because no matter what's trendy, no matter what's in, no matter what's exciting, the thing that you're committed to is going to be the thing that you keep coming back to. The trends will fade. The exciting things will fade. The emotion will fade. 
the um the the feeling of the 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 euphoria might fade but commitment says no it doesn't matter if the feelings fade fade i decided that this is this is the route that i'm going on this is the road that i'm going on this is the thing that i'm pursuing i'm committed to this so even when i don't feel like it i'm committed to it even when nobody else is doing it anymore people have moved on i'm committed to it even when it's not fun or it doesn't feel good, I'm committed to it. If it's not happening as quickly as I thought or wanted it to happen, I'm committed to it. If it's getting hard, I'm committed to it. Commitment is what keeps you coming back when the excitement and the emotion fades. Sometimes even when the interest fades, because sometimes interest can come or go, but commitment stays. So, that's kind of what I wanted to share with y'all this week. A little quick, a little quick thing. Are you committed or are you merely interested in it? And there's no problem with being interested in something. There's absolutely no problem with being interested in something. And something that you're interested in can become something that you're committed to when you start the process of learning about it. Maybe you maybe you you pray about it, you uh, consult mentors, you consult wise counsel. And you believe that, okay, this is the thing that I'm supposed to go for. So now I'm going to commit myself to this thing that was once just an interest. So an interest can turn into commitment, but don't let your commitments, don't squander what you're committed to because of something that you're merely interested in. And if you have a whole lot of things that you're interested in, but you haven't decided what you're committed to yet, you're going to be wandering to and fro here and there. Like I said, head on a swivel, going after this thing and going after that thing and running after this thing and running after that thing. So decide, what am I going to be committed to? What am I going to press through on? What am I going to lean into no matter how long it takes, no matter the hard times, the good times, the happy times, the bad times, when I'm frustrated, when I'm sad, when I don't want to do it anymore. What are you going to commit to? So that when all of those things come, when emotions come and go, when feelings come and go, when people come and go, you know what you're committed to. You know what you're devoted to. You know what you're leaning into. And you keep leaning in until what you see in front of your face matches what you see in your head or even surpasses what you see in your head. That's the difference between commitment and interest. That's what I got for y'all this week. Check yourself. Check your life. Ask yourself, what am I interested in? What am I committed to? Do you need to make some shifts? Then make the shifts that you need to make. As always, the euphoria of fearlessness trumps the comfort of staying safe. I will see y'all next week. Bye-bye.